on the Gaiety stage with the speaker here tonight, Sir Randall. Uh, nice to see you. You too. Um, this is obviously very exciting for us to have you over here because I, I know it's been completely sold out so weeks and months before you've even come along. And uh, since then, of course, the great news that you've released about your next incredible adventure. Can you just tell us about that? It's Antarctica. Um, about four years ago, my colleague of 25 years, Dr. Michael Stroud, um, I think he heard that the Norwegians were going to attempt the first crossing of the continent of Antarctica uh, during the polar winter. Uh, that's never been done, um, but if the Norwegians are contemplating it, that very often sparks off our team. Um, the, the, our team is basically from Commonwealth countries like Australia, Canada, UK, and so on. Um, and so having been sparked off, we started work on it, and four years later we've got the, the sponsorship because we go nowhere without good sponsors more or less in place. We still need a bit of sponsorship, but we're ready to go um, in December. A lot of people think you're quite balmy to do this. Yeah, they always have, that's true, but I didn't get A-level, so I've got to do something. You know. um, and the same goes for quite a lot of the others in the team. Um, sort of jack of all trades and, and then on top of that we have the specialists who are doing the scientific work um, and the filming for BBC News and the filming for the Department of Education which is doing the biggest ever educational website which is interactive with children who want to speak to us in Antarctica uh, for 42,000 state schools and actually over 200,000 schools in the Commonwealth countries. Scientifically um, the science is being put together um, by a science committee under the vice president of the Royal Society, which is Europe's top science academy, and the results will go, including other things, um, to um, the European Space Agency and to NASA and to the, the, the top people in science food like GSK who are experimenting with new foods under stress. How is your health these days? Because, I mean, obviously, we still hear about you know, your heart condition a few years ago. Yeah, w you know, after a certain age, you obviously get a bit suspicious about what your body's up to. Um, but unless you constantly have it checked out, you don't really know what's going on, you know. So, therefore, when you reach a certain age, um, if you're lucky to have got to that age in the first place, um, you know, if someone says, how are you, you don't really know what's going on, do you? You could get cancer tomorrow. But, I mean, the doctors have to give you the OK, or are you just going to go regardless? Well, th th I had aggressive cancer and aggressive cancer treatment and seemed to touch wood, um, have got over that at least temporarily. Cardiac-wise, I had a problem. Um, that could come back again, you never know. But the point is, you don't want to have an expedition where anybody is um, not replaceable by somebody else in the team. So th this is definitely going to go regardless? You are absolutely committed? Yeah, we're committed to go. Uh, to be completely OK, we would like a couple more major sponsors. The charity side of it will raise um, $10 million. Um, the Hong Kong Bank, uh, Standard Chartered Bank, are matching every pound that we raise by a pound, which is very good of them. So um, we would um, so many be able to buy uh, nine quid at today's prices, a lot body. of spectacles, get, which the in the UK people don't really appreciate the fact that uh, lots of children all over the world don't myself, have spectacles when they're short-sighted. In the UK they sort of fall from heaven and everyone so expects to have um, spectacles. They don't have spectacles, so they cannot go to school because they cannot read because they're short-sighted or long-sighted, and not going to school can affect their later life. So for nine quid, you're doing quite a lot of good, quite a lot of people. So seeing as believing, which is the charity, um, we should raise 10 million. I mean, last year I raised 6.3 million for Marie Curie Cancer Care. Um, and Marie Curie are very good at um, helping people with cancer. Um, sight is, is as important as, as that, but looked at from a different angle. Tonight's talk, which bit are you going to be focusing on? Um, it's just an autobiographical talk about past expeditions, not, not future expeditions. Right. But, um, I mean, you, wherever you go, you, you, you have a massive amount of people who want to hear what you have to say. I mean, never a dull moment, I'd, I guess, in your life. Um, I wouldn't like dull moments. Um, you know, obviously they happen to everybody. Um, but as long as you're lucky enough, and I think luck comes into an awful lot. I mean, one in three cancer, you know, so if, if you 
survive cancer, um, which so far I have, um, it's, you know, you're one of the lucky lot, and therefore why waste time and energy on doing nothing?